What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before we crack on with today's update, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, you want to stay up to date first and fast this summer with the latest Manchester City transfer news through my series of daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout the summer transfer window. Then make sure you have subscribed, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on social media links. They're also in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and search for me and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email mail also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video 500 likes once more is the aim also don't forget as well let me know your thoughts on what you make of these transfers in the comments below and lastly this video it is sponsored and it's brought to you by one football this video is brought to you by One Football. If you want to download the One Football app, all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description, which will take you forward to where you can download this app. The One Football app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me. It provides you with the latest footballing news, transfer news, and the latest videos as well. It is one source of information of where I get my transfer news from. It also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any manchester city game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date thank you very much to one football for sponsoring this video if you want to go and check them out then the link to them are in the description you can go and click that link that'll take you to the download page to download download the free one football app who will keep you up to date with all the latest transfer news this summer for manchester city and everyone else so let's crack on with this video we're going to start off first with the outs and we've got some confirmed transfer news comes in the form of an update on lewis fiorini now he has signed for blackpool on a season-long loan, so wishing him the very best of luck on the seaside for Blackpool, my hometown. Hope he goes and smashes it there. Now, moving on, we do have a big update on Alexander Zinchenko. Now, Sky Sports News has said that Zinchenko to Arsenal could be completed as early as as the early parts of this week so I presume they're speaking about Monday or Tuesday the situation right now is Zinchenko still has not left the Manchester City training camp for their pre-season tour in the United States Manchester City they are now in the United States of America and it's been reported by Martin Blackburn that Zinchenko is waiting for the green light to leave City's training camp in the USA to head over to Arsenal's training camp camp so he can undergo his medical tests and then join up with his new team mates now daniel cuts need to be careful with his name uh, the sun says that a 30 million pound fee has been agreed for arsenal to sign zinchenko from manchester city that's also been mirrored by sky sports news who have said the exact same uh, sky sports are saying that personal terms they're not expected to be a problem however fabricio romano says that whilst the verbal agreements in place for the fee for the clubs personal terms still have not been sorted i'm not expecting expecting any problems in uh, with regards to personal terms and Zinchenko signing for Arsenal but it is a hurdle that needs to be cleared uh, and so yeah there's gonna have to be a little bit of patience I'll be surprised if this transfer is complete uh, tomorrow I reckon we're probably looking towards the latter parts of the, uh, the week rather than the early parts of the week but I could be wrong we'll have to wait and see but 30 million pounds Zinchenko is expected to become an Arsenal player. Now, moving on to the ins, because of that Zinchenko uh, update, we do have an update on Mark Kukurea of Brighton and Hove Albion. And the mail says that because Zinchenko's pending exit from Manchester City uh, is going to spring City back into action in the transfer market. And City are believed this week, once that transfer is confirmed of Zinchenko to Arsenal, City are going to accelerate their efforts 
efforts to sign Mark Kukurea from Brighton. I know some fans have been commenting on my videos, that's Brighton fans have been commenting uh, that City haven't made any approaches, they've not got anything agreed with the player or the club, they've not submitted a single penny of an offer towards Brighton and Hove Albion. City showing immense interest in Kukurea and things are bubbling up and trust me Man City will make their move it doesn't mean we're guaranteed to sign Kukurea but City are brewing up making their move and I know exactly how City operate in the transfer market they don't just come in with bid rejected bid rejected bid rejected that's not how City do their transfer business the transfer business will involve Man City speaking with the representatives of Kukurea finding out if he is interested and wants to come to Manchester City and if that is the case that's then where they'll start getting the feelers out through the agent about how much Brighton are looking for through speculation as well and once they get word of uh, roughly how much Brighton are looking for and if City is willing to pay that much is when City will contact Brighton to make their approach and we are not there yet that could come maybe again towards the latter parts of this week maybe into the week after I don't think there's any rush from City's end to get Kukurea in, it's a transfer they're probably going to want sorting before the start of the season but it doesn't necessarily need to be done during pre-season and it can still be done during pre-season City's showing that transfer business definitely can be done whilst you're on a pre-season tour of another country, it's just uh, transfers take time and considering we're not even in the negotiation stage of Kukurea as of yet, that is uh, something I'm expecting to have more developments on probably daily uh, from maybe uh, the latter parts of this week but I'll keep my eyes and ears open of course for all the latest developments with Kukurea but it's looking like Zinchenko out and potentially Kukurea in so do let me know your thoughts of that in the comments below and moving on to the final transfer people have been asking for me to address this so I'm going to address it Neymar there's rumors going out there now these rumors have uh, they've, they've come to the surface on the Blue Moon Forum that's Manchester City's fan forum that we have uh, and people that are regarded as being reliable and having information on the club when it comes to their transfers so uh, with the Neymar situation he's been linked with coming to City uh, people are getting excited because they're expecting a big Brazilian name to sign for Manchester City someone we're not expecting and it's going to blow everything out of the water and things are going to get very exciting which from my own personal opinion I hope it does happen because that's great for my channel uh, but for Manchester City and signing Neymar does it make sense probably not uh, it would take a lot of work to get that transfer done uh, that means Man City upsetting uh, their wage structure which we've worked really hard to keep a very firm grip on even with the signing of Erling Haaland so uh, I, I just don't see how this transfer can be done like I said, it makes a great title, it makes a great thumbnail, it makes great talking points, and it makes a cracking video. I just don't think it goes any further than that. Uh, like I said as well, there is nothing reputable other than people speculating on the Blue Moon Forum, and it is just that. It's speculation, it's rumours, there's no legit journalists out there reporting of Neymar joining Manchester City from Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, I'm fairly sure PSG probably won't even sell their players uh, due to uh, the relations that they've previously had with Manchester City's owners and the politics of uh, Qatar uh, and also the uh, UAE and Abu Dhabi where City's owners are located and everything I just I, I just don't see how this transfer happens it's going to involve a lot of money financial fair play and everything in place they're going to want a replacement as well it's just so complicated I do not see it happening but what I will say is I'll keep my eyes and ears open. It's a summer transfer window. There's always big stories. Anything can happen. You've got to love the transfer window. You've got to love the rumour mill. So there we go. People have asked for it. I've addressed it. So that's what I know. So there we go, that has been the video, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up, 500 likes, that's the aim, any help towards that would be much appreciated, also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts on what you make of these transfers in the comments below, Neymar 
yay or nay let me know in the comments below also don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel daily manchester city transfer updates coming throughout all of the summer transfer window to keep you guys up to date every single day with the latest manchester city transfer news so do make sure you have subscribed now less than 900 subs away from 27,000 subscribers big numbers so thank you everybody that has shown continued support on my channel uh, and any further support would be much appreciated also don't forget get as well social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries and also don't forget to go and check out today's video sponsor one football link in the description if you want to go and download the free one football app we will keep you up to date with all the latest transfer news for manchester city and everyone else from around the world it is one place of where i get my source of information for these videos one football also keep you up to date with the latest football news the latest scores results statistics live league tables live commentary and all your good footballing needs go and check it out link in the description to go and download one football anyone that does download one football using my link does help to support the future content created here on my channel and it does keep these videos coming for you guys so any help and support towards that would be great and i'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily manchester city transfer update so i've been jsgc Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.